Hey folks, in this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we're going to jump straight into it here. We're going to go and look at how to write the most concise cube formulas possible. So here's the data set that we're going to be looking at. You'll notice I've got a pivot table. I've already built up some cube functions here. We already know from previous weeks that if I go to pivot table, analyze, OLAP tools and convert to formulas, convert the report filters and convert it, we get a nice little setup that looks like this. And we can now take the formula, which is pointing at the precedent cells here. If I want to bring beer right back in here instead of B13, I would jump over and grab this and say, I don't need the whole cube member part. All I need is categories, category, beer. The question is, can I make it even more concise than that? So here's the thing. I'm going to hop over to the uh, little table that I've built up here, which is built out of cube formulas. And I've already gone and cleaned this one up a bit and I've reordered things here to display things the way I want to see them. And the order is actually not important with the way you apply these. So you can see right off the bat, we've started with measures sales. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all these and I'm going to take measures off of this. Now, the thing is, is that measures is the name of the table that the sales measure lives on. So if I go and delete that and hit control enter, you'll notice that everything still works. Cool. The next line we have categories being the name of the table inside the data model, category being the column on that table. And then we've got the and which is pointing to the beer item itself. So I'm going to get rid of the table name and leave just the column name. And if I go control enter, you can see again, everything still works. So, Feeling that, I'm gonna go and say, all right, well, let's take this one here. Let's grab this source table, pull it off here, just refer to the class column, because why not? And control enter, and everything goes to hash NA. Huh, let me just undo that for a second. Everything else still works, okay? So we've been able to strip the table name off of the categories table, but not off the source table. Why? Well, if we take a look at the data model, what you're gonna see here is that we actually have the same column name existing in two separate tables. And this is the big trick to understand with this. Measures, you can always take off the previous or the table name from those because measures have to be unique in your data model. You can never have two measures with the same name. But column names only need to be unique within a table. So you can have the same column name within multiple tables. So personally, if I'm gonna be shortening things down to try and deal with it this way inside my uh, cube formulas, I follow the same rule that we use in DAX when we're writing our formulas. Measures, we don't preface with a table name. Columns, we always do. And at that point, we never have any issues when things grow up because somebody adds a new column, it's not gonna blow up. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the SkillWave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.